Hello and welcome back to the When You're Podcast, the podcast for when you're doing anything. Today we're talking about when you're at a basketball game. So I have gone to a basketball game and I thought it would be interesting to talk about it because it's so... Okay, the the big difference between TV, right, watching basketball on a TV and watching basketball in real life. I'm talking about pro basketball. I'm talking about the professional basketball here, right? I'm not talking about like you just go to some pickup game in the park. I'm talking about like when you go to a real professional basketball game. So I think that the, well, there are a couple of differences, but it's like the the way to decide, right? TV, like watching on the TV versus watching it in real life. I kind of thought that there's some, I mean, there's benefits to both, but it really kind of, de- there are any number of factors that depend on it. Like, for example, at with your TV, you have the comfort of being at your home, right? Like, you get the best angles, they play it all the time. Like, it just, it's more convenient, you know what I mean? You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on it, right? Well, I guess it depends on, like, if you're a really big sports fan, like, if you really need the channel, or if it just, like, happens to be on. Not that it really matters, but I'm just saying. But you get the comfort of your home. You get to make your own food. You know, you get to sit down on your own place. You're not crowded by a bunch of people, right? Like, it just... It feels overall better being at home. Or it's just, like, the the more convenient... You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody can go to, um, go to the court or uh, the stadium where they play the games. Or even if you do go to the stadiums where they play the games, it's like maybe they're not your favorite team or blah 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 blah. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like there are so many occurring factors for 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 this game. It just felt like. Uh, How can I put it? I liked it. I liked being there in person, okay? But if I was if I had the luxury of my home, right? Like which one which one outweighs the other, right? Being able to see it in real time the game or am I so conditioned? Am I so much more comfortable watching it on the TV screen because that way I guess I don't have to deal with other people. You, you get better angles that way too, right? If you're sitting in the stadium, it doesn't matter if you're on the floor or if you're all the way at the top, if you're or somewhere in the middle, you know what I mean? One of the rows or whatever. Like when you watch the game, you're stuck to that one spot, right? And then yes, they go back and forth, but you're stuck to that one spot. Whereas if you're at home watching on your TV, then it's kind of like, oh, okay. Then it's like they they show you every single possible angle, the way that they shoot the shot. Now they do this in the at the real game too, but they do it on the big jumbo jumbo screen, and it's just kind of like where should I keep my eyes focused? Where should I pay attention down there or up at the you know down at the court uh, watching the players, or should I look up and look at the screen? Like which one? Which one should I pay the the most attention to to get the most out of the? Um, experience and for me i felt like being there in person i was like well i don't usually get to watch professional basketball like in person so i i focused all my attention just looking at the court i didn't want to look at the um at the screen but then when something like a foul would happen and i'm like there's no way like i was just thinking to myself i was like there's just no way that that's a good that was a terrible call. Like that foul sucked. Like, and I was, I was just kind of like, but then they played it again on the jumbo, on the jumbo screen or on like the big screen or whatever. They played it again up there. And even more, I was even more convinced that nothing even happened. I was like, what was the point of that? You know, it just felt so weird. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. The TV versus real life. Which one which one is which? And then what I did like about being there at the at the stadium watching the game in person was the um the overall atmosphere. It just it feels cool to be around so many sports fans or people who 
I guess people who are interested in the game or like are passionate about your, you know what it is? It's that they're in the moment, right? We're all at this basketball game choosing to watch these players play. And it feels like a big, it feels like it's all together, you know? But that's also a, that could be a pro and a con. It's a pro because, hey, these people are just as focused and liking the game just as much as me. And with all of us together, it kind of feels like a good experience. But at the same time, it's like there's other people, you know? So it's like they they talk, they yell, they scream, they get in the way, they're blocking stuff. Like they're just all of these little factors, you know? So for me, I had a great experience doing it. And if I was a regular se season ticket holder, I would definitely go again and again and again. But... You know, tickets are pricey, you know, especially just for one game. And then you have to think about snacks and drinks, beverages, merchandise, like all of those different things. Like if you really want to get the experience. But hey, I uh, I liked it. And I thought that I feel like, uh, you know how sometimes they'll be like, uh, oh, uh, uh. Uh, you'll go, you'll see like the, the glamorization of like, like the Super Bowl, right? They showed you like, this is what a 50,000 penthouse at the Super Bowl looks like, or like when they have their own room and whatnot. And then they show you all the things that they give you. It's like, you get this and you get that and you get a, a, a bar and you get, you get uh this gift bag or whatever. You get these snacks and the popcorn. And I just feel like that's not really... That's not really worth it, you know what I mean? But, like, if you could, like, sit up front at the game, that's where, like, if, okay, so sitting courtside at the basketball game, that's worth it. Like, that's, that's money that you spend, and that's worth it, right? That's why you see celebrities at the, at the front rows, right? Because it's like, that's worth it. You know, that, that feels like it's a good use of their money. And they get, like, the best experience watching the game. Front row seats. Whereas going up into a penthouse or, like, in, like, your own private box or room, it just kind of feels like, so you pay more money for, I guess, extra comfort. But then you could just watch it at home. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it doesn't feel like it's there. But overall, I feel like... Uh, if you're going to spend the money, if you're going to spend any money on these on these games, like really good money, like a good chunk of money, it's better to get closer to the action than to, I guess, have your own private section box. I don't know, dude. I, I guess everybody's different. I just feel like you get the most out of the experience. But anyways, another great thing about this being not on TV is you get no commercials. There's no commercials on this. So... Yes, they had breaks in between. So instead of a commercial, they'll stop and they'll they'll have like um or, or, or timeouts. Sometimes I feel like their timeouts are kind of uh Well, when I was watching the game, they they called the timeout and then it kind of felt like forever had passed. And I was kind of like, oh, that's because of commercials or like they're playing something and they have to wait for them to get on so then they can play or whatever. But maybe, uh, maybe I, I wasn't really paying attention to how long. Maybe the timeouts are like two minutes long. I don't know, dude. I just felt like the timeouts were a chance for them to obviously recoup and figure out their game strategy. And then it was also a way for commercials to play when... uh when watching from home. But I like the no commercials. Like I'm okay like that's that's the cool thing. I don't I don't I don't like commercials because it's just like the same old same old. They do the same thing over and over and over again. But when you're actually at the stadium and you're like and they pause the game or there's like they stop the game, it's like you can like talk to your fa friends and your family and like look around the stadium and enjoy like the moment you could go and get a hot dog or any of the other snacks that they got there it's just like they they have so much you can do it just feels like um 
that's the cool thing is like it's that's the hangout spot that's the the place to go that's the thing to do while you're there um then there's oh yes they had the announcer so they have an announcer in there and he kind of hypes up the crowd and he kind of does like little little events so when we get to a commercial break or like there's like a little stop like a place where we can all stop and like just or maybe at like halftime or whatever the announcer would like do um like these mini games so the mini game would be okay you have to shoot this basketball into the you have to shoot this basketball two times in no 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 three times in a row when you get two chances they shoot they get it they get it they miss blah 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 like they they have these little events these little games that they do they also do um trivia there was this quiz where they have to guess uh they had to guess the basketball team they had to guess the basketball team and i was just like man i wouldn't even i wouldn't even know but the the woman was a season ticket holder like she she regularly has tickets to those games or she's a part of the association so i was just like hey cool 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 stuff so anyways while i was at those events I mean, during those events, that's when they would play commercials. And I was just like, oh, that's, I found that a lot more enjoyable and a lot more fun because it's like you get a real life experience as opposed to watching a, I don't know, like just another shampoo commercial or whatever they they got going on. Um, And I, I, I thought the announcer, you know what it was? The announ, I felt like I could have done the announcer's job. Like that was that was kind of the thing. I was watching it. That was the only thing that bothered me a little bit. It's just like, man, this guy is doing good, but he's not doing what I could do. You know what I mean? It's just like I felt I felt like if this guy's getting paid, I could definitely do that job easier, better, a lot more fun. I would definitely not be as awkward during times. Um, cuz there were some awkward moments. Like somebody lost a prize like prize money from playing one of the events one of the games that he had lined up while they were doing commercial breaks and i don't know something about the interaction between him and the guy afterwards was pretty awkward and i just felt like there were a lot of i felt like there were a lot of times where if he had like a little bit more charisma charisma that i have and that i would have brought to that stadium but you know it is what it is he did a good job and i felt like you get so used to it it's kind of like routine a little bit of a pattern you know but every day is different i guess and and i also think that job is just cool it's just you get to go to a basketball game every time and you get to be an announcer for you get to hype up the the stadium the people you know, so I thought it was cool. Now, outside of him, they have this whole dance team. Now, I was expecting... Now, they're kind of like cheerleaders, but they're they're a dance team. So, instead of it being like, um, like at football games, where they go like, go team, woo! Instead, it's more of a dance team. And it just, there's no pom-poms. There's no none of that. They're a dance team. And because they're a dance team, you expect good choreography from them. And can I just say, they did some good choreography. It wasn't like that. It was like some really good stuff. Although the music choices were not that good. They were were very bad song choices. But I thought overall, that entire kind of mesh was really good. They danced well. They they fitted all perfectly together i thought that they did a a really nice job and then they had the um the mascots join in so instead of like the one mascot like the the team stadium mascot instead of it being that mascot i don't know why they do this but they brought like other mascots from other teams so it would be like so let's say for example the team mascot is the dragonflies then they would bring like all the way from New Jersey, we brought the Tiger, you know, we brought the the New Jersey Tiger team's mascot. And you're just like, 
but why are they here? Like, it's just the one mascot. Like, you know, I don't know why they feel the need to add multiple mascots, but it's just for fun, I guess. And they did a nice job. So they would do choreography in the mascot suits and they would do all kinds of like funny pranks and dances and whatnot during, uh, during the game. So it was all kind of good fun. And if I, if I had to nitpick maybe like one thing from this whole thing is that whenever they do a choreograph choreographed dance or whenever they do, do a performance, like during halftime, they only danced in one direction. So if you were the opposite side of the court, right? So it's the rectangle. You got the people on the sides and then you have like the one main side, but it's kind of like an arena. So you had to have a full 360. You have to be aware that everybody around you is watching and they kind of just did it like a stage where it's just like the audience is in front of you and that's not how it is. So if you were watching the performances from behind, then you didn't really watch anything. You kind of just saw their backs and and that was it, which is not like perfect performances. But they also showed it on the on the screen, so I guess it really doesn't matter all that much, but I just felt like that was just one nitpick about it. But the choreography, again, the choreography was nice, you know. The song choices were not that good. I'll just, that's just the way it is. And then, is the dance team necessary? I have no idea if they're getting paid. I hope they're getting paid. It's probably not a lot, but I bet it's just, it's so much easier for them, you know. They just have to do like a few dance numbers and... You know, they would. They also passed out, like, merchandise and, like, snacks and stuff. So it wasn't all that bad to be a part of the dance team. I just feel like, are they necessary? Like, would I, would I have cared if they weren't there? I don't think I would have cared if they weren't there. I would just be like, yeah, what do they, you know, what do we really need them for? And then I kind of was just like, am I hating Am I just like, you know, am I not appreciating them like in their in their art form? Like they're getting paid. They, you know, they're they're putting on a show. Like they're they're making the time go by faster. You know what I'm saying? I would rather watch the game, but it makes sense that they're trying to do something something cool. But anyways, they they were good. So I guess it really doesn't matter if I think they're necessary or not. They're there. And they put on a show, and they have fun, and that's cool. Happy for them. I guess another benefit to just being around or, like, going to these games, especially if it's, like, your home home team, your home base, it's, like, your stadium, is the sense of community around everybody. It's like, oh, snap, you know? We're all in this together. They would have like crowd chants, so they would scream out the player's name, and everybody knew. And I was just kind of like, what? How does everybody know? And it's just like, yeah, because that's their team. That's their favorite player. That's the franchise player. That's their star guy, you know? Of course they have a chant for him. And then whenever they're, you know, they're yelling, defense, 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 defense. Right? It just feels like everybody's in it together. And then when the opposite team scores or the away team scores points, it's just kind of like silence. It's like, oh, well, damn, you know, we lost. And it feels good that like, oh, you know, you know, this player and that player, like, you know, the whole roster, you know, everybody there. So that's the kind of community. That's the kind of sense of like, it must feel good for the basketball players that like, these are my fans. They know me. They they want me to win. They they're hoping I win. They're they want me to succeed, you know? And that's like a nice little boost of confidence when they play other teams. It's like, oh, you came over to my court and these are my people and they're gonna cheer for me because they genuinely want to see me win. They paid their money to see a win. They want me to to score points. I can't let them down. And I just felt like that was a... That's a good sense of community. That's a good sense of like... 
um, encouragement and it adds a huge level of confidence that everybody is like, we support you, we're with you. And it's the, the feeling of like when everybody can come together, everybody came together from different parts of their lives, right? Like, it's not like they all get together, like everybody in that stadium gets together um, every day, right? It's only uh, during the games, yes. But like everybody in that stadium was lit in a different point of their lives, right? For me, it was a, it's not an everyday occurrence for me to go to a base basketball game. I almost said baseball, basketball game. So it's like, I was given some energy, you know what I mean? And then this other person, they're given their, their all, you know what I'm saying? So we all come together and we put our effort into something, then great things, you know, cool things happen. And uh, I thought it was a, a good example of like, no matter where you're from or what you're doing, like those stadiums are necessary or those physical places to go to are necessary because it just, it makes you, it makes you come together and see people and look at what we can really do if we all band together with one another, you know, we can cheer on a team or we can make changes in the real world, you know, but hey, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but Next, I, I kind of want to talk about the the basketball teams. The basketball teams. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the their names. Um, I was cheering for the away team. I will say that, and this was a professional basketball game. Okay, this was NBA basketball game. I'm. I'm, and I was watching it, and the players on both teams were not great. They, I don't know, you, you'd you expect like a different level of like professionalism. Like there's a clear difference when I watch, um, you know, it is, you, you see a big difference in style and in strength, speed between the um, I think, in my opinion, I think there's a big difference between the college football and the professional football. Because I remember I watched this one college game and it felt like everybody was all over the place. They were doing all kinds of nonsense. Whereas in the NFL, the professional, um, professional football, I felt a lot more clean. I felt like there was more more push, there was a lot more defense, it just felt like everything was heightened to a, a level 10, you know, as opposed to uh, the college game where it felt like the defense wasn't really there, so they, so the, so er, each team would get a lot of points, whereas like in a professional football game, it's like, not that they don't get the, the points up there, I guess it depends on the game, right, but I'm just saying, the difference between the college ball and the NFL, I just felt like there was like a, a noticeable difference. With this one, with the basketball teams, I didn't really see I didn't really see that big of a difference. I, I kind of was just expecting like, yeah, you should make that three pointer. You're a professional basketball player. And when they miss it, like clearly miss it, like airball it. Like I'm just looking at I'm looking around. I'm just kind of like, isn't that this guy's job? Like this is his job and he's missing. It just I was kind of like they they need more precision. They got to they got to focus up here. They And also also they were more rough on like pushes and on fouls. So it kind of felt like Yes, you can you can be rough, but at the same time you don't want to you don't want to go too far. You need to you know you get what I'm saying? You, they're rough with it, but it's also like you don't need to be rough. You're you're this is professional basketball. You got to play it clean and clean. You got to play it perfect, you know? You know the rules. You shouldn't be making like sloppy mistakes or you shouldn't be fouling them right there like take it easy, you know? And 
more often than not, I wanted them to take risks. Like they weren't taking enough risks on both teams. I was just kind of like, oh, they're forcing, like they, they would force their way in. They wouldn't, um, what's it called? They wouldn't take chances on big game points, like three-pointers, because I have no idea why not. Like they, like this one player, they would dribble the ball up to the three-point line, look like they're about to shoot, fake it, and then just stay there. And they didn't do nothing. They literally just dribbled the ball more and did nothing. Like, take the shot. Like, do something. It just... It bothered me to no end to watch it and be like, oh, he's going to go for it. And he doesn't go for it. It's like, take the risk. Like, what are you afraid of? You're a professional basketball player. If you suck at threes, then you shouldn't be in the professional. You shouldn't be in the NBA. Like, come on. Like, you got to take the risk. You got to go for it. But over and over and over again, they just, he just wouldn't do it. And that goes for a lot of, a lot of the players. And when they would make the three-point shot, Right, I would be like, "That's that's what I'm talking about." Like, you could catch up, you can still win this. Like, you're still in the game. Like, go for it. It just, I felt like they weren't taking those risks, and I was just like, "Please, just take a risk, take a chance, do it." I mean, what what they they literally have nothing to lose, you know. If they if they miss, then just get ready for defense, you know. Make them miss, and then go for a two point because you messed up, like. You know, you're you're fine. I just, I wanted more out of it, you know. But it was really close, the game. It, it, the game was also really quick. The game, the quarters were like 12 minutes. So, it, it happened to go by really quickly. I was kind of like surprised how fast, like every single... Every single time they would get the ball, I was like, man, it's already like five minutes left of the quarter. And then it would be like, oh, it's already halftime. And then, oh, snap, it's already this and that. Like, I just, for some reason, I was like flabbergasted at how fast the game was going. I was like, man, I, th I feel like we just started. Like, can't they just keep going? You know what I mean? And there were also a lot of missed opportunities in the game. Like I said, they just wouldn't take threes. They wouldn't. They wouldn't pass it to other players. They would hold on to the ball, try to be a hero. Um, there was also like... I think there was like a, a missed opportunity in... There, there were missed opportunities where they could have... I don't, I don't want to say... I mean, the missed opportunities are mostly, mostly when they score or like rebounds because it's like he's going to go for a three-pointer. You see it and then he misses and then he's just like, he looks up at the ball and he just doesn't do nothing. He lets the other team get it. I'm like, go get the ball. Like, it just, it frustrated me. It was just like, you missed an opportunity. You had your chance. And I also feel like this the the NBA it kind of discourages defense like you do too much then you get a foul and then they get to score points you do too little they score the point and then now you have to like focus on offense so it's just kind of like man it's what what will be enough like how can how can we really focus on what's important here so it just kind of feels like well all they can do is like the main thing that I kept seeing them do were screens and blocks. Like, that was it. Any kind of real defense or, like, staying on top of them or, like, making sure they don't move an, another inch was always met with, like, a foul. And I was just like, what is going on? Every little thing you do. So, now, I think that they just have to focus on uh, good offense. Good offense always wins. If you have good offense, like if you can make those threes without without a problem, you're golden. You're you're good to go. If you can't, or if you don't have a, a tough enough drive or like a push to get in within a, a two point distance or a layup, then you're sorry. You're not gonna you're not gonna win. It always matters. They're like 
no matter what they score, can you also match it? Like that's the back and forth. That's the give and take. That's what matters. It's not... Defense is also very important, but it's also like once they score, it's our turn, you know? So make it count. Make it worth it. So that's just how I feel. Good offense is really the the main focus. You know, defense is always met with like, oh, you hit his wrist or you did that or you held on to him. It's like, grow up, grow up. You're in professional basketball. Like, stop discouraging them from playing some good defense. Like, really, let them let them punch each other to stop them. You know, I don't care. Just make sure that they they really do it. You know, they touch them one time on the back and it's like, oh no, that's a foul. It's like, what? So that's why I'm like, offense, offense, offense. You got to make sure it's, it's good. So anyways, guys, that was my, so overall, when you're at a basketball game, get some snacks. You definitely need some snacks and Kind of take it all in. Really appreciate everybody there. And also, I would say look at the court and just make your own and make your own assumptions in your mind, you know? Kind of piece together the like, yeah, that that player's good, that player's good, that player's not holding the team together, but they're doing a job. This player they should switch out and you know, just come up with your own story. Make it fun for yourself. Or well, that's what I did. But overall, when you're at a basketball game, have fun. And I think just let yourself be immersed in it or sink into it a lot, you know, and have fun. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I'll talk to you guys all next time. Thank you.